Okay, welcome back to Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. So, I believe this will be our last episode of this trial, and thus the last episode of this game. This is episode 25, and we are about to enter court. Let's get into it. But there's no defendant. Trying to reach a real morning, so no Lana, no Emma. Right. Been and reached Berg in the dick yesterday is because there was still room for doubt regarding this ID record. Then no doubt will remain. After all, he hasn't been officially charged with anything. In any case, once room for doubt has been removed from that list, I can call for a ruling. Scar will be found guilty. Here to hear what you have to say. Right. You'll lose your only chance to find out what really happened. Right. Okay. She's going to turn around and say she did it, didn't she? To protect her sister or something. Right, yep. Yeah. Legally valid, though this is an unprecedented situation. Objection! Oh, it's going to be, yep. Yeah. Any rule in this stage would certainly be premature. <laughs> right. Right. 
Right, there we go. Sorry, just gonna put my can in the bin. There we go. <laughs> Probably needs emptying soon. Right, I've. Yeah, that works. Cool. <laughs> Sorry, my cable's mixed up. while I'm Lana's little sister wants to go to science. Is this correct? Yes. I'm trying my hardest to kill the balance though. Well okay then. <laughs> finally begun. I'm guessing he's expecting us to reveal it. Okay. Well, though we know what she saw, she hasn't described it. Yes, I want to hear more, thank you. Ask about the picture. I should check the evidence again. Right. Mm. 
Um, I haven't actually checked this yet. Does it have anything on it? Oh, on the back. Okay, I didn't know about that. Okay. Present. I'm assuming I have to present that now, yes? Okay, I have to do it on the I drew a picture of it. So I do have the guide there because it just helps me when I slip up like that. Um, it's just so I know I'm not on the wrong track. I also use it to help me if the video, <laughs> if I think the video is not going correctly. All I'm saying is that, as the prosecutor for the kit for that case, I know was never handed such a picture. That is true, to be fair. ever reached you. Yep. <laughs> yep. <laughs> right. the drawing on the back of Mr. Edgeworth's list. Right, um, 
Yeah, I was going to say, please say you're going to allow me to cross-examine. Alright, I'm going to press that last one. Right. Actually. Wait. Mm. No. Where is it? We had an updated autopsy one, didn't we? Stabbed in the back. That shows him being hit from the front. Right. If I'm correct. Beat that, but. So it's points to the tip and knife. It's That the tip is broken. The tip was found broken off in the victim's body. Suffered a single stab wound to the back. Should not yet be broken. But then how would a piece of whatever get in its back? Little something called falsified evidence, yes. <laughs> there we go. You can't deny the probability. <laughs> I love this, it's great back and forth. Are you saying the investigation really was corrupted? Right. Oh, ceremony that day. Receiving the King of Prosecutors Award ceremony. Neil Marshall questions Joe Drake along with Damon Gant. I've been calling him Grant all this time, by the way. <laughs> questioning Joe Drake left the room. Marshall chased after it was killed by Drake. My belief that somewhere in this story there is a lie. Then another broken knife. There are chance there are two broken knives. I mean, there'll have to be another one, because she's gone over it plenty of times. So, there was another knife. Wait. Oh, right, the um spear on the knight. There was another knife. Yes. Let's 
guaranteed a broken knife. Oh no, the sword from the trophy, not the knight's thing. <laughs> yep, there we go. <laughs> there we go. Drawing was not Joe Drake's knife. That day. Oh no, that's true. Dang. Okay, well then, at least we have another detail to go on now. <laughs> Should be interesting. <laughs> There's a knife to panic, rush toward the both of them. Knocked away the man with the knife. Then one, there was another flash of light and that's when I saw the blue badger. He wasn't in the room, but I'm sure I saw his shadow. Okay, yeah. I've got a theory as to what happened. Right.
but just a plain jar. However, if we were to change our viewpoint. That's it, right? This is going to be fun. Oh, this music's going to frustrate me. It's not that. It's not that. back in a second. I'm gonna see if I can look this up because this is gonna confuse me and I don't want to spend ages doing it. Right, I have found something that shows me how it was done. To be honest it didn't take me long to find it. As you can see I've not done anything on the screen. Right. Um. Like that. There we go. Okay. Right, yes, apologies for that. But the guide I'm showing is all text based, so. Or the guide I have is all text based. Badger witnessed on the day of the crime was actually this. That's where you're wrong, you see. This changes everything. The location. Well, the murder weapon and the murder, as far as we know now, have not changed. But the location, quite possibly. The witness saw this jar. On 
the shelf in the office of Damon Gans. Knocked away the man holding up the knife. In the next instant, the jar was hit and flew through the air. Turn your attention to this picture once more. Right. Knocked in the direction of the self proclaimed. Uh, of the shelf the jar was sitting on. What would he have hit? Suit of armor holding a very sharp and dangerous looking sword. It was knocked into the armor was carrying the broken knife. It would have been Neil Marshall wielding the King of Prosecutors trophy. No idea, but nonetheless. <sighs> I know what he's going to say. <laughs> then, yeah. He was knocked into that. It's all silent. I don't like this. Oh no, she's realizing it. No, yeah, she's realized. I do! Did not die instantly. Oh, right. Oh, 
is in the evidence. Stop at nothing to prove my sister's a mud. Yeah. It's the jar. Because that's the only thing with blood on that was in the room that we have. Is it just going to speak the killer's name? If that thing could, I'm sure it would. <laughs> <laughs> See a trail of faint trail of blood on the jaw. Some of the fragments was not wiped away. That someone apparently wiped away. <laughs> I don't want to laugh at that because we're trying to prove we're innocent, but. I mean, we already know what it's going to be, right? Okay, they're just not connecting that part. Oh, I love my controller messing up. Stop moving to the left. Oh my... literal sense you were trying to save your client cover up or evidence forgery ultimately responsibility falls on a prosecutor in charge yeah We 
during a recess now, and by the looks of it, that is the end of this episode. Um, thank you very much for watching. We will move into what I believe will be the last episode. Thank you very much. Goodbye.